We're telling you everything you need to know about every seller science product. But first, make sure you subscribe to keep updated on everything we're doing here at Morbier. Cella Science is an established brand used by award-winning breweries, wineries, and distilleries all over the country. What we love about them is they make the same products that they start with the professionals, get it tested there, and then package it down for us home brewers so we get to use the same quality ingredients. Yeah, if you've seen our channel, we use a lot of Cellar Science products, and that's because you know quality ingredients matters, and we really love their yeast, their additives, all their fining agents, things like that. They just help us make better beer. It's another arrow in our quiver of making delicious beverages. We're gonna focus on most of the beer making products on the home brewing scale, but they also make stuff for wine making, distilling, cider making. So when you go to our website, you'll see that plethora of, of ingredients for different industries and different sizes based on your needs. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the dry yeast revolution. You'll find on our channel, Ola and I sat down and talked about the dry yeast revolution two years ago, and it's really taken off. Yeah, cellar science played a huge role in that revolution. Back in the day, dry yeast was limiting. We always kind of thought it was the inferior product. Now there are so many varietals out there, it's awesome. And man, I don't have to make a starter anymore. I don't have to oxygenate if I'm doing my first pitch with it. It's just so much easier. And in the summer, I don't worry about if it gets warm. So the way they're manufacturing it is during and, and propagating it and harvesting it is an aerobic fermentation. So they're constantly feeding it oxygen and the medium that they're using also allows it to have higher lipid levels in the cell wall. So it has everything it needs to reproduce. So you don't need to oxidate it. As Chris said, the cell counts are higher. Um, the manufacturing is just cleaner. So it's just a great product from start to finish. For those of us non-scientists, if that went straight over your head like it did mine, just Take my word for it, try it once. And if it doesn't make great beer for you, I'll be shocked because it just works. Cellar Science yeast is always available in the Pro Brewers side. You have your Pro Brewers pack. And then the popular ones, which is most of them, are available in sachets for five gallon batches. So let's get into each variety of Cellar Science yeast. First up, Cali Dry Yeast. The classic American ale strain, clean, neutral flavors, let's hop shine. This is known as the Chico strain. This is the yeast we use the most of in all of our experiments. It's a beautiful yeast, crystal clear. English dry yeast. A rapid fermenting English ale strain with clean flavor, low esters, and highly flocculent. I love using it for West Coast IPAs. It's highly flocculent, so it's, it's, it's really clear beer you're gonna produce, and it also respects the malt a lot too, so it's great for English beers as well. German dry yeast. The classic lager strain from Weinstefan, Germany. Very high attenuation and flocculation. The classic German lager, malty, beautiful. Hazy dry yeast. This is for hop forward beer styles. It's bursting with tropical fruity flavors and aromas and it's low flocculation to give you that awesome hazy look. Great for hazy beers. You love those big fruit forward beers. You want something that's lowly flocculent. This is the yeast strain for you. Nectar dry yeast. A fun, unique yeast with a UK pedigree that emphasizes fresh malt flavor and medium flocculation. Unique flavors and oftentimes used in hazies. Monk Dry Yeast, a classic Belgian ale strain known for its delicate dry fruit notes and restrained phenolics, similar to the French Saison strain. I actually have two beers on tap at home right now that I made using this yeast and I love it. It's a great one for those Saisons, just kind of restrained phenolics, but still has it there to give you that Saison uh, type of aroma. Berlin Dry Yeast, a popular yeast strain with a Berlin lineage, produces amazing lagers with soft, malt character and balanced esters. If I'm gonna make a Czech lager and use dry yeast, that's my go-to yeast. Voss dry yeast, a traditional farmhouse yeast from Voss, Norway. It's great for quick turn IPAs and has citrus esters to boot. So this is a Quebec yeast. It's great for hazy IPAs, or I like to use it for hazy IPAs, quick turns. It ferments in 48 hours and it throws these great citrus esters. So it's just great for those kind of like hop forward beers that you're looking to produce. Saison Dry Yeast. Ferment delicious saisons with hints of fruit and citrus, plus all the classic spicy phenolic flavors. Classic Belgian, funky, spicy, wonderful beer. Hordenol Dry Yeast. 
Another traditional Quebec farmhouse yeast. This one's great for quick turn IPAs, more of the hazy nature. It's got tropical fruit esters, which is another Quebec strain, which is great for these quick turn. Higher fermentation temperatures is the key to these to produce those amazing fruit and tropical type aromas. Origin dry yeast. This is the ideal yeast for producing very neutral, clean base, hard seltzers, canned cocktails, and spirits. So Origin Dry Yeast, this is an interesting one. If you're looking to make seltzers or if you're into distillation, this is the one for you. Acid Yeast by Cellar Science. So this is a really cool one because it's a non-GMO yeast that produces both alcohol and lactic acid. So it's great for producing like those Berliner Weiss style beers. As we all know, if you make great wort, pitch the right amount of yeast, and ferment it at the right temp, you're gonna make great product. But sometimes you wanna tweak it. You wanna get just the right flavor. If you wanna add body to your beer, sweetness without adding sweetness, they've got something for that. If you wanna make a super dry beer, they've got an enzyme to help with that. If you wanna break down your proteins and, and you know call, get haze out of there, they've got something for that as well. So those are the cellar science fining agents, enzymes, and all the things that help really fine tune your beer. First up, Oxblox 3D. Reduces hot side aeration, easily added to mash water to reduce oxidation in finished beer. Hot side aeration is a huge topic in home brewing and has been for years. This product helps you greatly reduce that concern. Pro brewers use de-aerated water for a reason. This is a cheat code we get to use as home brewers to quickly and easily get rid of that oxygen. Tropic Thunder, it's a unique amino acid blend that activates the Elric pathway, causing beer yeast to produce tropical fruit flavors. So you may have heard of Phantasm, similar but yet way different, because this is you know, using, it's creating fusel alcohols instead of theols. So, but what those do is help kind of push that hop aroma out. So it's a, another subtle way to add to your hazy IPAs, your IPAs, etc. cetera. Silifine. create crystal clear beer by greatly reducing yeast and haze forming particles. Drawing a page from Stokes Law, this makes all the particles heavier and helps settle them out of your beer. This helps make crystal clear beer, perfect for any of your West Coast IPAs and your lagers. ALDC, stop hop creep before it happens with ALDC. This lowers the VDKs, which are the precursors to diacetyl. This is actually one of my favorite products. I like to say I put this on everything. So what it does is inhibits the production or lowers, greatly lowers the production of VDKs, which is a precursor to diacetyl. So I use this when I pitch my yeast and also when I add dry hops to try and reduce diacetyl. Fomax, stop boilovers in the kettle and limit foaming in your fermenter. Hate dealing with annoying boilovers? or hate dealing with croissant coming out of your fermenter, this product is great. A couple little drops in your fermenter or a couple drops in the boil kettle takes care of all of that. Liquid body. So this one's actually used more on the wine side, but you can really use it in ciders and also seltzers is another thing too. So it adds body and perception of sweetness without actually adding any fermentable sugars. So I think you could technically add it to beers as well too. Um, so just something to kind of play with to add body uh, and the perception of sweetness. Glucobuster improves lautering and yield while making potential downstream filtering easier. All right, so this one breaks down the glutens, helps you kind of improve your laudering and your yield. So it's just a good one to add to your batches, just it should help increase your efficiency. Brutzyme. Brutzyme is a enzymatic blend that's used to produce ultra dry beers. So this, you know, was kind of brought up or made the attention brewed IPAs, but it's a great one for like Belgian triples, those ones you're trying to really dry out. You could use it in the mash tun, but it really shines on the cold side. And it basically what it does is it breaks down those long chain sugars, makes them, turns them into fermentable. This will allow you to get down to that zero gravity and even negative. So it creates those ultra dry beers. Clearzyme, make clear beer from the start by adding clearzyme when you pitch your yeast. It breaks down the haze inducing proteins so they cannot later bind with tannins to create a haze in your beer. So this is an interesting one. It actually helps reduce the gluten level. So that's the first thing. And then it also helps kind of bail out a bad mash by breaking down the haze proteins, but leaving the good proteins that you want for head retention, etc. So that's Seller Signs, that's their products. We love them, we know you're gonna love them too, so find them at morebeer.com.